If you've changed your modem or your internet password, your inverter may need reconnecting to the internet. In this video, we'll show you how to reconnect it. It's easy to do, but takes a few steps. Before we start, you need your mobile phone, your Wi-Fi password, and your customer password for the inverter. We would have given you the customer password with your paperwork. If you can't find it, get in touch and we can help you. The first thing you need to do is connect your phone to the inverter's access point so it acts like the inverter's control screen. On your Gen 24, you'll see a button between the two lights. Just tap your finger once and the blue light should start flashing to show it's sending out a signal. That will keep flashing for 30 minutes. On your phone, open up your Wi-Fi and select the Phronius network. The password for it is just 12345678 and hit connect. Once you are connected to the Phronius network, you'll be able to log into the inverter and this is where you'll be able to go into the network and select your Wi-Fi. So you'll just want to open up your web browser and from here you can type in the IP address. The IP address is 192.168.250.181. Just put this into the text at the top and hit enter to take you to the inverter controls. Once it has entered the controls, your first screen shall be showing you the bubble graph of your inverter's production. So you'll be able to see here what it's producing. You'll now want to go into the top right corner and from here you can select the little symbol for a face and hit user login and put in the customer password that we have given you. You can hit keep me logged in here as well. Now you want to click on the three lines in the top hand corner, go on to communication and then network. Scroll down to Wi-Fi, which is the middle option and you'll see it's disconnected. You just want to select your home's network, which is usually the strongest one. From here, put in the password for your own Wi-Fi network. Once you have put in your Wi-Fi password, you can then just hit connect. You do not need to change any of the other settings here. It's as simple as just putting the password in. So just scroll back up and you'll have Wi-Fi connected written there. From here, you'll just be able to go back onto your solar web and you'll see your system running just fine from there. If you have any other issues or this doesn't work, let us know.